What's up guys, Kick Ninja just set an update and version 1.2 adds some cool new features that I'm going to show you right now. Let's start with some of the basics. We got some small bug fixes and tweaks here and there, including a main output fader. This output fader will let you tweak the output of the synth without affecting the output level of the sample itself. So you can tweak that up here. This main output fader won't affect the export of the sample at all. Some people asked for this and I can totally see how it's nice to be able to control those two separately. Another one of those small feature updates, top layers now get exported to their own folder. If you import a kick from a sample, the top layer will now be put into a specific top folder. So if you go into the browser, and you start in your library folder. If you go up one, then you see your export folder, and in there is now the top folder that contains all of the exported tops, which lets you super easily just flick through them and test them out however you want. Then we've got some new filter modes. All of the filters for the sample layers and the filter for the effects layer have been updated with new modes. The OG mode is just the original mode Kick Ninja came with, but now the 12 dB and 24 dB add more resonance control as well. So if you dial up the resonance here, you can actually hear that it's become quite zappy. And this is the same for all the sample layers. These filters are identical. Um, that allows you for some crazy, crazy filter modulation. And of course, you can also automate the actual resonance itself as well, allowing you to create some crazy sounds that then go into the second level distortion. Where you can like really make that drive on the filter and just go crazy. And this is the same for all the individual sample layers as well. Another new feature that was requested by some people was more and different pitch tracking modes. In the original version of Kick Ninja, we only had the what's now called legacy OG mode, which basically meant that the global pitch offset and the oscillator pitch offset didn't do anything and only really affected pitch tracked points. So you had to turn on pitch tracking, and you could use this slider. Got to enable pitch tracking there as well. You could use this slider to affect only the pitch track points. We still have that option, but we've now also added two different modes, one being the new default, which basically doesn't affect anything when it's off, but lets you re-pitch the whole kick with the global pitch. Or with the just the oscillator. And the global pitch obviously also affects the sample sample layers, but this one doesn't. So that's kind of cool to have, like if you just have a dialed in kick sound that you like, but you want to pitch it up or down a little bit just to play around with that. In this mode, the pitch track points still work the same. When you turn on pitch tracking for a note, so this note is pitch tracked, it's slightly orange, I hope you can see that. And then you turn pitch tracking on for the oscillator, that value will get replaced by whatever you play on the keyboard. We can set it on for the last two, pitch tracked. And then this kick will really end in that node and this will still be affected as well by the, by the pitch offset. Now we also have a third mode and that's the sampler mode. And in this mode, basically all the points get pitched up and down by the keyboard. which is kind of like the way a sampler works. If you just had a kick sample and you played it over the keyboard, it will go up and down. Um, but in this case, the the sample itself won't get shorter or longer. We'll just get the, the internal frequencies of these notes will get repitched, which is cool if you use it on, for example, like an 808. And you set that to sampler mode. You can definitely hear as you go up the keyboard, like the attack of the kick gets higher too and it becomes much more like zappy and clicky. So just another fun mode for you to play with. So that's it. Go to dsp.thehim.com, get yourself Kick Ninja today if you don't have it already and hit me up if you have any ideas for features or got any thoughts about it. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Bye!